Hello you guys, long time no see. What crazy. Well, hi, welcome back to a new video or welcome if you are new. It's 10.30, it's Thursday, and this feels, I feel like I've been gone for so much longer than I have, but it's only been, well, it's been like over a week since I vlogged. I think it's been like a week since I posted. Also, I'm making eggs right now. Um, but yeah, I've been a little bit MIA and it, I guess was like kind of unexpected. Um, I don't know. I just like took some time to like live a little more and not just be like chronically online. And it felt really good. There's like black dirt on my fingers. I don't know what it's from. But anyways, um, I saw a comment that was like, <laughs> they were like, next video is gonna be like, let's catch up. And you're so right, we need to catch up because it's been a while and I've also been getting a lot of comments of you guys being like, I miss your videos, and that means a lot. Like, it makes me feel appreciated, and makes me happy that you guys, like, actually noticed that it's been a minute since I posted. So, what's been going on? Um, well, I was in LA for like a hot minute. I think it was like a week, exactly, possibly. Um, and it was my one of my best friend Kelsey's spring break. So it was super fun to hang out in LA with her because like she's only really ever been one other time and it wasn't like she never really got to like actually live it up while she was there. Cause she was it's like a long story, but she was there like because something happened and but whatever. And so it was just fun to like go there with her and I don't know, every single time I go to LA I have like a different my life is different. I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like literally every single time I've gone to LA, my life is in such a different place and that continues to occur. And it was just really fun to go with her and take her to like the spots in LA that I like and explore new ones. So that's where I've been and I didn't vlog that trip. Um, and then I got back on Monday or Tuesday? I got back on Tuesday. But it was around like 6.30. Natalie picked Kelsey and I up from the airport. We went and got sweet green. We, or I came home. Natalie actually was staying with me. Well, Natalie was staying in my apartment for a while. Not a while, like a week or so. Basically the whole time I was gone because something happened with her apartment. And um, so she was here and she stayed that night as well. And I was just like unpacking and hanging out with Natalie and whatever and just telling her about the trip. And then yesterday was Wednesday, and I had a lot of just like catch up to do. Like, I had to like refilm a couple of brand videos. Um, I had to do some, like, a ton of errands. I had to go grocery shopping because I hadn't been grocery shopping. Like, basically, I felt like I hadn't been in my apartment since like before I went to that training that I was doing, the cycling training. And yeah, I just had a lot of like, I needed like every toiletry, soap, cleaning product, grocery ever, like I had nothing. So I spent the day yesterday doing that and then just catching up with friends and family and whatnot. And um, now we're here. It's Thursday morning. I went to Pilates this morning and it's funny because I know in a recent vlog, it might've even been my last vlog, I'm not totally sure. I mentioned, I was like, I'm getting frustrated, or I was like actually frustrated, but I was like, ugh, Pilates doesn't feel as hard anymore. Oh, it felt hard this morning. I could tell that I haven't been in a while. <laughs> like, it was definitely hard this morning. And I'm feeling it, but it felt good. And then I got a uh, coffee from Shortwave after, cold brew with almond milk. And I think their almond milk might be sweetened. I'm not sure, but it's like suspicious. Um, and that's where I'm at. Also, I have Augie, I picked him up yesterday, but I literally missed him so much because I, I dropped him off at the sitter before I went to training. Then I went and picked him up, but I was only here for one day with him. And then he went back to the sitter because I went to LA and I, I haven't, I feel like I haven't like 
seen him in like a year and it just feels so good and I don't know what the sitter was doing but she is amazing first of all I'm obsessed with the sitter Augie is so well behaved <laughs> he is so well behaved ever since he got back I don't know if he's just still tired from being there because he's around a lot of dogs and kids and stuff so like maybe it, it's not gonna last but he's been so well behaved he's he's acting so much older and he I don't even want to jinx it, but he hasn't had an accident in the house since I got back. I don't even have a potty pad out anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like the sitter that I found, which is great because I have horror stories from previous sitters. But, anyways, like I said, I'm making breakfast. And after I do this, I'm going to shower and get ready. I'm just going to vlog and uh, I'm going to edit this vlog later tonight. I think I just got oil on the sweatshirt. I also just got the sweatshirt yesterday. Well, it got delivered yesterday. It's really cute. It literally just says yoga on it. It's the brand Good Morning Sport. Good Morning Sport. Good Morning Sport. Good Morning Sport. I don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what the pronunciation of it is. If it's like Good Morning Sport or like Good Morning Sport. Like are they calling someone sport or is it like a good morning sport. You know what I mean? Anyways, these eggs look bussin'. I um, ate a lot of good food in LA, but I will say I miss my home cooked meals. I'm just a good cook. Like I can't even front like I'm not. Breakfast is ready. I'm gonna sit and eat and then I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'll talk to you guys after. Also, my skin's breaking out. So bad. Okay, so I've been the worst at vlogging. This lighting's also really bad, it's also really hot. But um, yeah, it's 3.48. I got, ow. <laughs> I got out of therapy, got out of therapy. And I just went and got a second coffee, literally from shortwave again, because I don't know, I was just craving one. And I feel very tired today. I'm gonna go home now and get the rest of my day. I'm like so out of tune with vlogging that I like, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just feeling very tired um, and honestly really unmotivated to film. I don't wanna leave you guys hanging. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been so long since I posted. So this might be a two day vlog and I might miss an, uh, one more extra day. You know what, forget it. But also I just paid technically $15 for that coffee because I uh, had to pay for parking and it was like $15 because the lot I always park in, there's like, sometimes there's events and when there's events, the parking is more than it normally is. Normally it's like a dollar. So I paid $15 for a freaking coffee, but it's fine. <laughs> I could have gone and found another place to park, but I was too lazy. So it's my own fault, really. But, yeah. I'm excited to walk Augie in a little bit because it's very hot up, it's 89 degrees, but it's gonna be beautiful a little bit later. So I'm excited for that, but. Second coffee. Hi guys, I just got back from therapy slash coffee. And I came home to a package from Aritzia because the other day I was on the airplane home from LA and I was bored. So, <laughs> hi sir. Okay, I gotta take him out, but hold on Aggie, let me just. <laughs> Mommy just wants to open it really quick. Okay, maybe I shouldn't cut towards me anymore since you guys saw I literally cut my finger. Oh. First things first. Okay, this is funny because it looks like I'm wearing it right now. But uh, this is from Aloe. But I got a gray tank from Aritzia. Augie, don't need a feather. All right, next I got the same thing in white because... All I wear is crop tank tops in Florida summer, so. 
And then I tried these on when I was in LA and I really liked them, but I didn't want to put them in my suitcase. So I bought them online. They're these gray cargo shorts with little pockets. These low rise carpenter pants. I don't know. I saw low rise and I was sold, so. Then lastly, I got my favorite Aritzia hoodie, the Cozy Fleece Mega Fit in size two in a gray color. So. I also got uh, shoes, like I said, but probably coming separately. But I'm gonna take Augie out, and then I'll probably just come in and chill for a while, and then later I'm gonna take him on a nice long walk, but it's still too hot for his little paws right now. But very chill day today, not really doing much. You guys, I do not know what just came over me, but I just asked a girl out on a date. I'll put a screenshot of the conversation up on the screen, but basically I said, hi, you're pretty. And she says, says you beautiful. And I said, heard you're looking for someone who can make you last. And she said, if you play your cards right, you can do more than just make me last. I said, I like the sound of that. Come with me to a comedy show Friday at 9 p.m. Cause I was already gonna go. So I figured, you know, I'll invite her along. She said, Okay, then you take me to Barcelona, deal? Because on my profile I say that I love Barcelona. I said, I'll give you an answer to that question once I get a feel for your sense of humor. Want to grab a drink or two at Bar Taco before the show? And Bar Taco has really good marks, and she knows, and she said, only if the marks are on me. And I said, deal, I'll message you later this week to figure out the details. Very excited. So, it's now Friday, and we're meeting for drinks at 7, so we need to get ready. I did my hair and makeup for a TikTok, so if you guys have not already seen my TikTok of me getting ready for this date, go and watch that. But now I need to pick out an outfit, and I kinda wanna go really casual. I don't wanna try very hard. So I was thinking about even just keeping this shirt on and putting on some black jeans with it, and then maybe some like heeled boots or something. So we'll try that on. But fun fact, this is actually my first date like as an adult, because I haven't been in the dating world since college, and Things were just different back then. And this is also my first Hinge date ever, so kind of super nervous, but I am really excited to meet her and see what she's like. I saw this girl in my likes, and she said that a green flag for her is somebody who can make her laugh, and I'm a sucker for someone with a good sense of humor, so naturally I had to match with her. For some reason, I feel like second dates are more nerve-wracking than first dates, because on the first date, the things you can talk about are endless, so if there's any, like, quiet gaps or just like things get kind of awkward and whatever you can ask literally anything like you don't know anything so you can ask anything also i feel like it's a first date so if it goes bad it goes bad and like that's that okay here are the pants i like this i think it's really casual not too try hard you know cute and then yeah i'll just throw on some like heeled boots or something but I really need to put on some music because that always helps me like calm my nerves because the more I think about it, the more nervous I get. I need to leave in like five minutes, so wish me luck and I'll update you guys after the date. You guys, it's the next morning and I need to update you on how the date went because that was probably one of the most fun dates I think I've ever been on. Basically, we met at this restaurant, um, this Mexican restaurant in Hyde Park in Tampa and then we went over to the comedy show together and the show was super funny and we laughed at pretty much all the same things so definitely have a similar sense of humor which is a good sign because if you guys remember humor is a big trend with this relationship we just had a super light-hearted night filled with just good banter and good conversation and it was just a really nice time. And she did mention wanting to possibly do something again next weekend. So I guess we shall see. See, this is why I love Hinge so much because I feel like it's really hard to meet other LGBTQ plus women just like out and about in the world unless you like go to a club or a bar. And sometimes that's just like not my crowd. And like if you think about it, I probably wouldn't have ever gotten the opportunity to meet this girl or like ever go on a date with her if it weren't for online dating. Going on that date definitely sparked my confidence and I'm just really excited to get back into the dating world. So maybe I'll go on another date tonight. Good morning, you guys. Lighting's really 
scary at the moment. But I am on my way to get a coffee. It's 8 a.m. and I've been liking to go and get a coffee before my workout recently. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to shortwave. Sun is very bright. Grab a coffee, come back home, work out, and then get the day started. I didn't really vlog anything after I got home yesterday. Um, I don't know. I wasn't in like the best mood ever yesterday. So I just decided not to film because I don't know. I just wasn't feeling my best. So we're going to pick it up again today. It's Friday, I don't have any real plans except I'm packing because I leave for a quick little trip again tomorrow. Uh, I'll only be gone for a few days this time. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pack for that today, but, um, what else do I have to do? I don't know. I'll update you guys maybe when the lighting's a little bit better or after I have coffee because I feel pretty tired this morning. But random note, I've been sleeping with my window open because the weather has been so pretty. And waking up to like the cool air and the sound of like the birds and the water and everything, it's just been so nice like I wake up more naturally I feel than whenever my room was like so dark and so cold and yeah but anywho I'll talk to you guys when I have a little more energy all right I can talk a little bit better now my hair's kind of scary but it's now nine o'clock because that drive took like almost 30 minutes for some reason well I know why I was experimenting on different ways to get here because there's like a few ways I can go. thought this way was the quickest, but I don't think it was. <laughs> but my coffee's really good today. Yum. It looks like there's a lot of traffic on the way home. I was thinking and I forgot I have an eyebrow appointment today as well. My camera's gonna die. No! Oh, you look so cozy in there. You look so cozy in there. <laughs> Hi, sir. Hi. You're so sweet. You love your little spot. Aw. You're so handsome. Oh. <laughs> You're so cutie. Do you want your greenie? <laughs> he loves his greenies. Come here, Alex. You want your greenie? <laughs> you guys can see it. Hello. Okay. I just finished my workout. And I want to be able to keep my hair today. So... We're gonna uh, Lord Farquaad real quick. But I made, you can't see anything. I made, I'm, <laughs> he's going to focus. <laughs> I made overnight oats last night. And I could not be more excited to eat them. And I'm gonna tell you guys my overnight oats recipe because I think I make some killer overnight oats. I can't even lie. So, I do oats, and I actually use right now, well actually always, these ones, because uh, they're really yummy. I mean, I would just use normal oats, but I didn't have that. That's what I would prefer, prefer. But this one I like because they're flavored, but they don't have like added sugar. Um, which I always feel like I need to say, there's nothing wrong with added sugar. Um, that's up for you to decide. I am aware of every little bit of carbohydrates because I'm a type 1 diabetic. But 
you don't have to not eat added sugar just because I often don't, okay? And I literally do, but anyways. Um, so I did oats and then chia seeds, hemp hearts, uh, blueberries, pecans, protein powder, and I use this one just because it got sent to me, but it's actually really yummy. And it's the chocolate peanut butter flavor. And it's really, really yummy. And then I had, or I added almond butter in here and cinnamon and a little bit of salt. That's actually a, the secret to really good oatmeal is just literally like a pinch of salt in there. It's really yummy. Um, doesn't taste salty or anything, but yeah. And then I did almond milk and it's like so yum. And it's torture because I have five minutes left on my insulin timer and I already made my bed. So Yeah, I need to adjust my balcony. My seats are like everywhere. I almost got new patio furniture the other day, but my brain is like, well, I'm gonna be moving out of here soon. I literally have like till August. <laughs> but when I tell you guys, I have so much travel. I mean it. I am leaving for a few days starting tomorrow. Then I'm leaving one more time in April. And then I go to Hawaii with my mom end of April, early May. And then I don't really have anything planned May, but I know I'll probably go on one thing or two because it's Maddie's birthday actually. And then June, I have something that I kind of told you guys about, but I'm not going to tell you about because I keep telling you guys things that don't happen. And then I'm like, JK. And so I'm not telling you guys till it's like literally about to happen. But something's happening in June. That's like the entire month. And then July is so far advanced. There's nothing, nothing there. But I do want to go like somewhere. Like, I don't know, Mexico or like Europe again or what? I don't know. But I want to go somewhere in the summer. Maybe even Boston. Kind of want to go to Boston in the summer. And then August is when I move. And I have a lot of... I have a lot of different routes I am considering with where I want to live next year. A lot of different ideas. So we'll see how it plays out. But basically this is like a great year so far, which is such a nice twist. And also I'm like feeling very like what in the world? Because my one year since being diagnosed is next month. And it's really special because the day, my like anniversary, they call it, uh, is the day that I leave for Hawaii with my mom. So that'll be really nice to like celebrate a whole year. And I know it's like, do you celebrate that? And it's like, heck yeah, you do. Like you've been keeping yourself alive, being your own pancreas for an entire year. Like, yeah, you celebrate that. You celebrate that for the rest of your life. You guys are in a risky spot right now. <laughs> But I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm like low-key really hungry. Um, it's 12.30. Well, we're gonna take Augie out first, but he's just chilling, so maybe I'll wait. But I think I'm gonna make an omelet because it'll use a bunch of ingredients up. So spinach, egg, avocado, mm. What else? What else? Maybe carrots and cucumber? Something super simple. But I'll show you guys whenever I <laughs> figure it out. Okay. And here's how you clear out your fridge. I'm telling you, one of my secret talents is clearing out my fridge. But it wasn't an omelet. It was a scramble. I don't know how to make an omelet. I don't know why I even said omelet because I'm not, I can't make one. But scramble with red pepper and spinach and avocado and cucumber. And it looks so good. And I'm so hungry. So. We're gonna munch now. Okay, I'm at Target. I am literally going in for only a vacuum. <laughs> so we'll see if I actually leave with only a vacuum. But that's the plan, so. Guys, I just got back and the only thing that I got besides the vacuum was an Olipop to drink later. <laughs> so 
I think that that's a win for sure. All right, back from dropping Augie off at the sitter and cleaning, uh, my new shark vacuum is mapping out my apartment right now. So the shark, the shark returns. It's been too quiet in the background of my videos. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna make some dinner now. I'm gonna make salmon, which I have right here. I'm gonna air fry it. And you guys, uh, last night, was it? Yeah, last night I made tilapia for the first time and I killed it. It was so good. So I'm gonna buy it again next time I go grocery shopping. And I wanna show you guys when I make it next because it was amazing. And then I know that I want to use this zucchini and some spinach. And then I have some broccoli and some cauliflower and I was gonna make them both because I don't want them to go bad. But both broccoli and cauliflower are like veggies that are decent when they're frozen. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do broccoli and oh, but carrots sound good. Wait, I literally lied. I think I'm gonna put the broccoli and the cauliflower into the freezer and I am going to roast some carrots. Yum, that sounds so good. Wait, yum. And then I have an avocado here and I could eat this, but also I'm gonna eat breakfast at home before my flight tomorrow morning. So, <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna actually do that. Okay, so carrots, zucchini, and spinach. Zucchini and spinach always looks like it's gonna be a lot, but then it shrinks down so small. So carrots, and then I'm thinking I'm gonna make quinoa as well, just to make it more of a meal, more satiating, satiating, satiating. I'm not about that word. Um, yum. I will show you guys whenever I'm done cooking. You guys, I really outdid myself. This looks <laughs> way too good. Alrighty, I am packing for my trip. I think I'm gonna be gone six days, I think, question mark. So I have pajama shorts, pajama shirts, and then sweatpants and a sweatshirt under each one. And then one, two, three, four, five outfits, because I'll just figure out the sixth day. I'll rewear something, because it's like the travel day. And four workout outfits underwear, socks, and a couple of little bras. That is everything that I'm bringing, plus like obviously technology and whatnot. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because we well, just finished packing besides like my toiletries that I can't put in until the morning. But I am gonna shower and edit this vlog and then have a snack and go to bed. So, I love you all so much. And I missed you guys. I don't think I'll be back on my normal posting schedule yet just because I'm traveling again and whatnot. Um, but I'm not gone. I'm just taking it easy. And I need to do that. And I need to live a life outside of <laughs> posting and yeah, that's just where I'm at right now in life. And it's not forever, but for now, I just am a little bit less chronically online. And it's been feeling really good. But I love you all so much. I'm still here. I will still be posting. And I, I'm not like stopping my posting schedule. I'm just taking a break from it. Uh, but we'll be back to it soon. But bear with me while I travel. And I love you all so much. Make sure you guys follow me on all my other social media. It's always linked down below in the description. And I will see you guys so super soon in the next video. Good night.